Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Fino and welcome back to another Astralis video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to rank up in Rainbow Six Siege. Let's get this thing started. In today's video, I've prepared five tips for you guys to teach you how to rank up in Rainbow Six Siege. We're going to get this thing started with number one. Let's go. All right, so my first tip for you guys, you've heard it all these times before. You've definitely heard it a hundred times on any video you've clicked on. You're going to want to stack. It doesn't have to be a five stack, but you're going to want people playing with you, whether it's a duo, a trio, a five stack. You're going to want to play with people who are like-minded individuals. That's right. I'm bringing out the big words for today's video. You want to win or calm or friend. You want to make sure that you're vibing. Vibes are more important than the want to win. Yeah, there's someone there. Where is he? If you lose one game and everyone's at each other's throats, what's the point of playing with them? You want to play with people that you make sure you mesh well with and that have the same goal to win while also not being annoying people. Just want to make sure that's people that you are okay with, that you can play with long hours with, and that, you know, you'll have a fun time with. Because when it comes down to it, gaming is for fun. For the first tip, you're going to want to stack with people that you enjoy, that enjoy the game. Moving on to our second tip here, you're going to want to check your mental, okay? Now I'm just thinking, how can I control when I get mad? Here's the thing. It's not really about getting mad and not getting mad. Sometimes you get a little bit mad. <laughs> It's video games, you know, video games are annoying. We all get mad at video games. But the thing is, you want to make sure you're in the right space mentally when you're going to the game. You don't want to play to rank up. You want to play to improve, okay? Because if you're playing to get better and you're not focusing on the wins or losses, one, you'll get less mad because you won't care about winning or losing until you get better. And if you're getting better at the game, the rank will come with you as you, you know, get better. That's the entire point of it. As you get better at the game, your rank will get better and everything will follow. But your first focus should just be on getting better instead of getting the higher rank. Because you can be, maybe you get the high rank, but you're still bad. What's the point? You want to get good and let the rank follow you. So then you can get that rank yourself. Know the basics, okay? You're playing the game. You want to get to the high ranks. You want to be the best in the game. You got to know the basics. Basics come first, okay? Basic make bestest. That's a new saying I come up with, but we're gonna go with it. So what do we mean by the basics? I mean callouts, you know, the play style, you know, defaults, okay? So, you know, callouts, pretty simple to learn. We have videos on callouts. We also just, there's a compass. There's literally a compass on the bottom of your screen that tells you the callout. Now, it's not always the right callout because the community makes up their own names for it, but you get the idea. It'll give you something good enough. So if you die, be like, yo, someone died on wherever your compass says, you know? Or if you're on cams and you see someone on a cam and you don't know the callout, there's a compass still there and you can say, hey, call out, hey, they're on this cam, you know? You know what I'm saying? Like, you just keep it going, keep it going. And like, maybe your teammates die, call out for your teammates if they don't call out, you know? And then for default setups, we have setup videos on Astralis. Go check them out. You know, you can go through our channel, but it's just, you want stuff done default way because default isn't the best because there's definitely like strats you can come up with that are better, but it's default because of how good it is, you know? And that's what everyone else in your lobby will probably be doing. You're not on the comp team. So you just want to make sure that, again, you're meshed with your teammates, you're doing the stuff right. You got to know the basics. You can be a leader like that. And then play styles, you know, different operators should be doing different things. They have different play styles. Maybe you have your own play style. It doesn't matter. Make sure you know what you're doing in the round. You don't want to be running around with your goose. One minute you're sprinting around the map, one minute you're back in sight, then you're sprinting around again, then you're on cams. Like, just know what you're doing and make sure you're playing in a way that is most effective for you and for your team. Okay. Our fourth tip to rank up in Rainbow Six Siege is communication. Communication is so key. This is why people want to play in stacks. Not because, oh, my randoms might be bad. No, because your teammates will communicate. Kid number one. Meow. Kid number two. Meow. Kid number three. Meow. Communication makes the game. You'll know where people are better than know where you are. Like, imagine your team has full sets of comms and the other team has nada, nothing, okay? So if your team has full sets of comms, if someone sees something, the entire team knows and then like you just know where everything is happening you know, everything that's going on you have map in your head basically you have full information coming to you to know where everything is and exactly what you now let's say you're on this team team with no comms i don't know what's happening maybe one person just died where'd you die bro who killed you nobody knows okay but that's why communication is so important and it's not just for call outs after death it's not just calls about seeing people but like saying what you're doing saying what you want to do in the round you know like calling out pushes all that stuff is so important in winning rounds because if you're not doing these things no one's gonna be on the same page as you so people are gonna be walking by themselves dying you gotta make sure that everyone's on the same page together i've said it before so i want to play with people that you vibe with back in tip one my tips are so instrumental i want to listen to everything watch the whole video through 
But yes, as I said, communication. You want to communicate with people. Call out when you're rotating. Call out when enemies are rotating. Call out what you want to do, what you want to do with the site. What you think the enemies are going to do, where the enemies are pushing from, where the enemies are killing you from, where you are killing enemies at. Everything is important because let's say you killed a th thermite and no one knew and you have a dude waiting to bandit trick a wall and he's sitting there the whole round waiting for thermite but thermite's been dead since 30 seconds in so your boy's just sitting duck and the enemies are pushing site while your teammates are doing nothing to help out with the site push you feel me it's an issue that doesn't seem that big at first but there's a lot of moments in rounds where that issue can progress and become worse and for our final tip for the video tip number five this one's gonna sound stupid but you have to go with it it is be patient, okay? This, this can go in a lot of ways. I'm gonna like explain this in two different ways and they both apply equally. But so way number one yeah, is be awesome. patient in the game. Now, everyone wants to be spoiled running around the map getting five one taps in the first 30 seconds of the game. That's cool and all. Not only can we not all do that, that's not how you should be playing season rank up. Boy, great guy. Number one oh, champ God. basically without the cheat. He's a clip hunter though. He goes for clips. He wants to make those plays so he can make YouTube videos for you. Do you want to rank up? And honestly, the way to play Siege is to be patient. If you're on defense, you want to waste time. If you're on attack, you want to clear things out, taking your time. You, Siege is a time-based game. So you want to take everything slowly, methodically, making sure you're doing everything right. You have to be patient with how you play. Let's say you get a kill. You may want to get a second kill, but maybe you just slow down and think, do we need to get another kill right now? Should I fall back to site? You know, maybe they should be looking around the entire map for you have to get that first kill. So, you know, patience. Patience is key, okay? Patience is a very important thing in your seat play style, no matter what you do. You even watch Pro League, stuff doesn't go down to the last 30 seconds usually. That's like the top tier of competitive gaming. It's a marathon, not a race. And then the other side of patience that we have here. This is patience with your journey of ranking up, getting better. It takes time. People don't just pick up a computer and end up being the best player in the world, you know? It takes time. It's a slow, not easy process. Sure, some people are gods the second they pick up a keyboard. It's like they were meant to do it. like there was the one thing missing from life, but chances are that's not you That's not me. It took me time. I've been playing this game since beta I wouldn't say I got good at it till about year two I was plat one a lot back then year three I got diamond and then I hit champ later on But what I'm saying is it is a slow and patient climb to get to the top Okay, you don't have to be in a rush about it as I said you play to improve you will slowly improve and your rank will slowly come with you there's no reason to be the best right now. You can be the best later. Take your time as you get there because the slower you do it and the more thorough you are with your process of ranking up, the more you'll learn. And the more you'll learn will make you better than the people next to you once you are in that elo or while you're in the elo right now. You'll know more than your teammates around you. Instead of bashing them for it, help them learn with you. Bring them up with you because that's what you want if you were in their situation. So, you know, when it comes down to it, be patient. And to wrap things up here, I'm just going to go through everything I said and list it out real quick just in case if you forgot. Now, tip number one that was stacked with people whether it's a two stack three oh five stack four stacks are kind of weird because you got that one random then i feel left out and hate you guys but you know you do you if you only have three buddies and you want to be the fourth go for it i'm not stopping you tip number two was check your mental make sure you're playing to improve and not to rank up it'll make it easier for you in the long run as you care less about your losses and more about how you improve that match tip number three was know the basics call outs play styles site setups all that important junk and jazz okay you feel me tip number four communicate that means call outs pushes what you're doing what the enemies are doing everything you got to know everything you feel me just if something's happening let your teammates know and have them let you know make sure you got that like little dynamic going tip number five was be patient okay that means be patient when it comes to ranking up and be patient when it comes to your play style i hope these tips helped you guys out if they did make sure to leave a like comment, subscribe. Uh, while you're at it, you can check out my channel, Chino, F-Y-N-O, bitch. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Go check out another video. See you guys in the next one.